Several other pet owners believe the algae is also making their pets very sick. Ari Hyde is in the studio with the story all new at 6. Ari? And I just talked to the owner of that dog who died. He tells me his vet called him last night and told him what he already knew, which is his dog died because he ingested toxic algae. That dog's name was Finn. He was a nine-year-old standard poodle. On Labor Day, Finn escaped from his backyard in Stewart and made his way to the river, and that's where his owners believe he ate a dead fish covered in toxic algae. Finn started vomiting that same night. He died the very next night at the animal hospital. The vet conducted that necropsy, which is an autopsy on an animal, and they say Vin, Finn had high levels of cyanobacteria in his body. That's toxic algae. At least five other dogs have also been sickened in Stewart. Those dogs and their owners went before the city commission last week asking for help. Commissioners at the time said if they can prove that it is in fact toxic algae causing this problem, they would take steps to alert the public. Things like adding alerts into the city's utility bills. I talked to a spokesperson for the city a short time ago. They say they have not yet seen the necropsy report, but if it confirms that toxic algae in fact killed Finn, they will move forward with alerting the public. Reporting live, Ari Hyde, WPBF 25 News.